this camera that I'm filming on now. Last time we were here, I dropped it and I lost it. Um, it's been like five, six days and luckily we were able to find it. It's like a $400 camera. I'm very excited about that. Um, so we're just gonna come out here and give it a shot. Why not? We're here. All right, this is uh, one of the weirdest things I've seen. There's a gopher tortoise hole, but it's got a dead gopher tortoise shell in it. Like the gopher tortoise just crawled in there, was crawling out and died mid-step. That's definitely its, its hole right there. They dig a very, very deep hole up to like 15 feet down, I think it is. Yeah, they did. Crawling out and died. Maybe it's playing dead. Ugh, playing possum. Bob is yelling musket ball. We found a, uh, like a Civil War era button here and a bunch of other musket balls. Let's Got check it out. Cool and all that other good stuff on. Oh, boy, is he. Yes, it does. It's got a nice sprue that's cut off. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's a very, very old musket ball. Beautiful mold seam and sprue. Definitely poured, cut, made, homemade. Or it doesn't necessarily mean it's homemade, it's just the old way that they made them. Beautiful. All right, folks, I got a ring, an actual ring. Um, it was ringing like all over the place like 39 to like 65 um, I didn't think it was anything good it could be silver it could be gold I don't know it could be aluminum but uh, let's check it out it's right here let's see what it's ringing up now 48 that's like gold oh it feels uh, somewhat heavy I don't know if it's corroded or not. If it's corroded, it can't be gold. Art carved. Something, something. 14K M art carved. 14K. So that's gold. 14 karat gold. Oh yeah, it's nice and heavy. I've never found gold here. Yes. Yeah, it, that was just a little corrosion on it. 14 karat band. Beautiful. I'll try to get the uh, inscribed bit so you can see it in there, but it's 14 karat gold. It looks like white gold. Beautiful. Alright folks, 14K M Art Carved. It feels heavy, it's perfectly shiny, it's beautiful. It's a big old watch cog. That'd be the inside of like a table clock or a grandfather clock, something like that back in the day, one of the old ones. Probably a table clock. I think the grandpa clocks were much bigger. Oh, like a big old musket ball. Nice one with the big old crust on it. Hopefully it's got a sprue. It's very corroded. We're down by the water. Heck yeah. It's a nice uh, 54 caliber musket ball. Probably from uh, Seminole War. There was a lot of activity around here. See the sprue where they snipped it. Snip, snip. Beautiful. Beautiful musket ball. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go over the finds. Start off with Bob's finds here. He actually found a rolled up piece of a scale, like a hanging scale. Um, P.S. Um, and W. Co. And it's got a star on it. 
And it's uh, like one of those, uh, not lever scale, but the other kind of scales, like a hanging scale. Very cool. You also got a pocket knife, all chopped up. It's got an F on it, carved in there. You got the beautiful musket ball, with the mold seam and the sprue. One rim fire with a U on it. Um, some lead and stuff. You got a 1952 wheat penny. A cog. A modern buckle. And this, which I believe to be very cool. To me, that looks like a World War I tank. Um, absolutely, it looks like a World War I tank. I'm thinking this might be some sort of insignia for like a World War I tank crew, I think. Because the tanks did not look like this in World War II. They only really looked like this in World War I and in like the 20s. After that, they started getting like turrets and stuff on them. And definitely, to me, looks like off of like a World War I soldier. That's awesome. I'm going to have to do some research on that, but I'm pretty positive that is a World War I tank. A little disc. Would have been like a collar disc or something like that. Beautiful, that's cool. Now over to my pile. I got a weird piece of copper. I also got the cog. A washer. A four hole button that was burnt. Aluminum one. I got the beautiful musket ball 54 caliber. Some square nails and stuff. And the awesome 14 karat gold wedding band uh, what did it say again 14k whoops oh no it's gone forever and it's back um what did it say uh handcrafted i think art carved actually art carved 14 karat art carved so that must be i don't know but I think it's white gold. It doesn't look like yellow gold to me. It looks like white gold. If so, that would be amazing. I'll try to weigh it. I think the batteries are dead in my scale, but it weighs a couple grams. Probably three, four grams of gold. 14 karat gold. Wonderful. Best find in a while for me. 